Check, check. Are we live? I think we're live. I'm just going to assume that we're live and uh, go ahead with it. Um, so yeah, we're basically set up for Biblos, I think. Going to follow more or less the same strategy that we did against Ifrit. Is Ferris set up correctly? Oh yeah, we can get Ferris in the back row. I don't know if Biblos actually has physical, physical attacks. But we'll find out in a second. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Okay, so we're gonna start with the haste. Oof. Oh wait, that was a bad idea. Yeah, I forgot that he was, like, yeah, low on HP and shit. Um, he's gonna die from anything that hits him anyway, so let's just make the more hastes. MP have does it can give a shit. Actually, I should probably haste him first. There's a risk that he's gonna die, but that'll let him mantra uh, more frequently and uh, heal faster. Okay, so he buffs his defense whenever we hit him. I think, although I don't think he did that the other times we hit him. Okay, now we're pretty much set up, though. Haste is pretty broken in most Final Fantasy games. Ooh! That's bad. That's bad. All of this is bad. Yeah, so this is Biblos. Kind of a dick... dick nozzle right here. Okay, is he vulnerable to slow? Oh yeah, that's gonna be my tea. Get fucked. Okay, I got- this is our one maiden kiss. I'd better not see you do that shit again. Oh, I wanted to hit the heal. There's not even any point to having him attack anyways. He's level half and all the other bullshit. Oh boy. Well, first up, I'm gonna get my tea. Okay, we are rejuvenated. Now to finish off Biblos. Probably not, actually. Yeah, my knowledge of the boss fights in this game is basically restricted to... Yeah, this guy's a pain in the ass. So we're basically gonna have to be figuring these guys out again. Yeah, it's, we, we gotta try this at least. It's our only hope. Oh, shit! I can't believe that worked. Okay, I'm fine with that. Yeah, one every, every little bit helps, you know? Oh, although, actually, now that I think of it... Uh... What was I thinking? Yeah, now that I think of it, that doing that much damage... 
means that he's got tons of HP. Because, yeah, this next one's going to do, like, half as much as that, even less. So that means he's got, like, probably about 1,200 HP left. A little bit more than that now, in fact. I think that was a counterattack, too. Oof. That's no good. Okay, we're gonna wait until his Demi does less damage than a Fist. And then we're gonna go to town. Actually, that's probably gonna be right here. That's, this is probably the last Demi we get. That's gonna do more than, like, 100 damage. Oh, it doesn't even work anymore. Oh yeah, it looks like he counters with Drain. That is awful. Okay. We might have a bit of a clusterfuck on our hands then. Do I have, like, an item that can damage him? Okay, so 300, that represents a quarter of his remaining HP. So he's got three times that left. Hello. Okay, so we're gonna have these guys just mantra up. Oh, is Gallop stopped? Oh, I didn't even realize that. So I don't actually have a way to finish Biblos off right here. Because, yeah, if he counters with a drain, and I'm only plinking away at him for, like, 50 damage at a time with my monks, and Demi only does a proportion of his current HP... I'm actually going to wait for him to do something, just to make sure that he won't do that and kill Ferris after we heal her. This is probably not even worth it, but here we go. Oh, wow, Ga Gallop is just, like, turbo-slowed, so... Well, haste yourself first, so that we can haste our buddies. Then if he does that breath wing again, we probably just reset. Actually, if we put it on her, she might actually survive the next Breathwing. Assuming that's just what he wants to spam from now on. Oh, that's fine. Okay, so yeah, we are officially at the point where Drain will do less damage than his recovery attack. So how do we finish him off? Like, we need some way to deal, like, 400 damage to him. Or deal more than 200 damage to him multiple times. It's gotta be some item that we've got. We don't. Well, you know what? I just had a thought. If he's vulnerable to Demi, which I believe most bosses aren't in this game, maybe he's vulnerable to stop? Okay, that looks like it didn't work. Fuck off. Ah, Ferris has no way to heal herself either. Whatever, we just want a Demi anyways. I think we just need to... Fuck. Yeah, this is pointless. They always seem to miss the first hit. Or you know what, I think I might have a strategy. I think I might know what to do here. 
Uh, whatever. Yeah, we're just gonna demi for what it's worth. But yeah, we're just gonna wipe here. And that'll be fine. Oh yeah, we can't even do anything else here. Okay, so it looks like the spell animation goes off at all. That's how you know that it hit. So he is vulnerable to slow. That's probably the first thing we want to put on him on the next attempt at this fight. Oh, finally, she got both hits in there. Oh, and he didn't counterattack. Is he out of MP? No, he's not. Oh, it looks like Drain can miss. So that's another way that we could win this fight. Yeah, it looks like once he gets below a certain HP threshold, he starts countering with Drain. Also, it looks like it doesn't hit Lena for some reason. I don't know why that is. Does she have something equipped? No, there it goes. Okay, that's all fine, because I've got a strategy this time. So we need to finish him off with big hits. The problem is, is we can't do big hits because he armors himself up every time you attack him. So what we do is we get him down to the threshold where he starts countering with the drain using Demi only, and we don't even use the physical attacks at all unless, uh, uh, until he reaches that point. So basically we're going to hit him with Demis until he gets down to around, like, three or 400 HP. Then we're going to let loose with a volley of probably the big hit, uh, whatever they call it, of, uh, of build-ups here. That's going to remove our ability to... To mantra, which really sucks, but I think we've got to do it. And Demi's gonna accelerate the fight anyways, now that we know it works. I don't think we're gonna haste this time, just because we won't be able to stall. Uh, stall for time to set ourselves up. Oh, whoops, I did not want that. Actually, mantra makes sense on Ferris, because yeah, she's not gonna be attacking this guy anyway, so yeah, mantra's great on her. Yeah, that'll be fine. Uh, is everything set up? All right, he's still got Mantra. Okay, let's see if this works. Okay, so that just means we have to waste around uh, flipping the rows then. Actually, I'm not, I'm not going to bother flipping Ferris because he doesn't do physical attacks anyways. Ugh. Actually, if that magic hammer hits Ferris, that will suck. Actually, no, we, we should still slow him. And these guys might as well potion themselves. Yeah, we basically just want to heal... Or actually, no, we need to heal Ferris, actually. To make sure she survives. To get off the demis. There we go, that's what we like to see. So, nice big start. That sucks. Demi starts doing about 200 damage, we're going to have all three of our monks build up at the same time. That's garbage. That's fine, we can survive that once. Uh, 
Now, can we do anything else productive? Not really. Shit. Uh, let's just hold on to this. That's really bad. I mean, we just wipe if uh, he does that again. So I guess we just sit back and hope that that doesn't happen. Yeah, there's no way to pass turns in this game, which kind of sucks. So we have no choice but to just waste everyone's turn. And then basically, Ferris will demi this guy, and if it hits, then we do the build-ups. And if it doesn't hit, then we probably just lose. Okay, I was hoping he would be down a bit lower at this point, but... Uh, we can't afford to wait for Lena. Actually, we can get off another one of these. Okay, that's good. That's fine, she wasn't going to get to do anything anyways. And hopefully this build-up will finish up. Yes! Okay, cool. Because, yeah, he, the only reason we were doing so little damage is because he keeps on casting armor every time you hit him with a physical attack. So you don't, so you just don't hit him with a physical attack until you're ready to kill him. Alas, uh, Lena here is going to miss out on the ability points. Sell seven of them. Oof. Um, I'm not going to bother reviving her since I think we just get a free teleport back to the start of the dungeon at the end of this. That's the way a lot of the boss fights go in this game, where it's like you gotta like... You gotta do the fight once to figure out what the tricks are, and then you've gotta and then you've gotta plan your strategy. Figure out how you're gonna get around them. Yeah, it's like the second boss fight where we've had to do that. I think this is where we get our second set of fire crystal jobs. Which doesn't matter, that's not not anything relevant to the fiesta. What? No, go to the pot. Go drink the water. Oh, okay. I believe wounded status, yeah, is your KO status. So here we go. Um, I think I'm actually going to leave Lena in Monk. Uh, actually, no, I don't know that it's worth it yet. Yeah, we're going to continue having Vax Zoo level up in Monk. Leave everyone else in Time Mage. Um, I like the idea. Uh, no, we need to... For the, for the regular enemies, we need to have them on Brawl just so that we can continue doing damage to things. I should just sell these fucking weapons. Or can I switch it to not do optimum? Oh yeah, re oh, if you re-equip empty though, it just takes off all of your equipment. That's even worse. Okay, fine, we'll deal with optimum. And actually, yeah, all of this is fine. Yeah, it doesn't equip optimum after you switch your abilities too, because there are certain abilities that can... The reason it does optimum after every job change is because uh, certain jobs can't equip certain pieces of equipment. So for the game to make sure that you... It's kind of a lazy programming thing. In order for the game to make sure that you don't end up with a piece of equipment that you're not allowed to have, instead of just checking for the ineligible pieces of equipment and un unequipping those, it just, like, turfs all of your equipment 
after every job change. But then you have the, it'll do an optimum for you so that you don't have to re-equip everything. Optimum is just the command where that automatically determines the equipment with the highest stats and yeah, equips it automatically. And yeah, then the reason it does that, even when you switch abilities, is because there are certain abilities that'll let you equip new types of items. Generally, each class has a an ability they can learn that'll let them use the weapon of that class in a different class. Like, I, I know Knight has equip the Equip Sword skill, which will let you equip swords when you're in a different job. And that's the reason why it takes off all my equipment every time I switch abilities. Kind of annoying. I, I, I wish they hadn't been uh, uh, so lazy with setting that system up, but who knows? Hardware limitations? I don't know. Again, I should be paying attention to the experience payouts for these fights to know if it's even worth fighting all of these or if I should just be running. Actually, one other change that I remember now that they made for the Game Boy Advance version of this game is they actually redid all of the battle backgrounds. Which seemed kind of weird to me when I heard about it at the time, but looking at this beach right now, I can kind of see why they wanted to do that. This is a terrible looking background right here. That is one of the ugliest video game beaches I think I've ever seen. Certainly on the Super Nintendo, I'm sure you could find some gaudy bullshit on like the, I don't know, MSX or something. Actually, I don't, so what is experience worth at this point, anyways? Next level, 791. Can't remember if Sid was in the ship or the bar. Absolutely no idea what happens uh, next in the plot here. I, I love how they have to like narrate the actions that the like like talk yeah ba basically it narrates the actions that the characters are taking in story scenes because you can't actually tell what's going on just from the sprite animations like you see him just waving his arms up and down and sid has to say ow so that you know that arms waving up and down means that he's hitting him It's going deep, thinking deeply on this one. There we go. Yeah, it wouldn't let me advance the text there. I actually really hate that when RPGs uh, refuse to advance the text for you and they like uh, like pause the text scroll for dramatic effect. It's always really annoyed me. Or actually, way back in the day, I was into kind of the RPG maker community a little bit when I was like uh, in my early teens. And that was a really common thing among RPG maker games. I don't know what it was. People just really love doing that, uh, make, putting those pauses in the text scroll that you can't skip past just for dramatic effect or whatever. It used to really, really annoy me. And I remember there were like, yeah, there was like discussions and controversy within the community about what, whether people should or should not be using uh, these pauses in the text scrolling like that. I remember there was one reviewer in the community who would... Uh, 
who would like literally like dock points on reviews of uh, these yeah amateur RPG maker games if they did that. It was a big penalty too. It'd be like it was like a five point scale, and he'd be like minus two points because of the yeah pausing in the text scroll. I wasn't even paying attention to the story sequence there. Does that he fixed the ship? Is what happened? Yeah, that's what I thought. He'd better fix the ship, because there's really nowhere else to go otherwise. And yeah, we've come so far in the like story of the game so far, and really nothing's actually really happened or been revealed to us yet. Basically, it's just like there's some bad juju going down with the crystals, just something's not right with them. And that's basically the extent of the plot so far. Man, I'm still getting dropped frames. This is really annoying me. It's actually happening right now as I speak this sentence. I have no idea why it's doing this. Ugh. <sighs> Are we seriously flashing back to something that just happened less than a minute ago? I know JRPGs love doing this stuff. Oh, it's for, yeah, compare and contrast type shit. I guess that's forgivable. Yeah, they've been kind of foreshadowing... Uh, Kara here. Or I think she has a different name in the new translations. I forget what it is. We're just gonna call her Kara. Or is it supposed to be Sarah? It's got, got kind of a weird spelling. I don't know if it's supposed to be this hard C or the soft C. So yeah, this is the point of the story where we yeah, get the villain revealed, finally. Because yeah, this game does indeed have a villain, sort of. There's not much to him, but he technically exists. I guess more so than some other Final Fantasy villains, actually. I remember Final Fantasy XII. I didn't actually finish Final Fantasy XII. I quit at, like, the second last dungeon. Just got bored of it. But yeah, that game had kind of, like, an extremely absent villain as well. It's weird. He must, like, do some spectacular shit, like, at the 11th hour or something, right at the very end of the game. Because I, I see people, like, constantly talking about how Vayne Solidor from Final Fantasy XII, oh, such a great villain, one of the best in the series. And it's like, for me, it's like, really? That guy was in the game? Like, did, did, did that guy even exist, really? Did he do anything over the course of the entire game? And I just, like, forgot about it or something, maybe? That guy is the best Final Fantasy villain? Of course, part of it is that just FF12 had a very sparse plot in the first place. The reason the villain didn't get to do much in FF12 is because not much happens over the course of FF12 in the first place. Or it, it happens, but it happens very, very slowly. They'd be, it's, it's kind of like this game. It's like, oh, we gotta find the thing, go here and do the thing. So you go here, do the thing, and it's... You know, like a good like 20 minute trek, maybe a half hour dungeon or something. Maybe 10 minutes if you get 10 extra minutes tacked on if you get stuck on the boss fight. And that's, hey, go there, do this thing. Another little 10 minute, 10, 30 minute trek. FF12, it's like, here, go here, do this thing. Five hours later. Oh, now another thing happens. Now go here, do this thing. And then like 15 hours after that. Okay, now another thing happens. And by the time the next plot event happens, I can't remember what happened. The last time plot-related stuff happened, it's just, yeah, FF12 was open. Just way too slowly paced for me to even care about or follow its story at all. It's probably just me. I've heard a lot of people say that that game has a really great story, but... Did not do it for me. I should have paid attention to where they told us to fucking go. Well, okay, let's see if we can intuit this shit, just based on... That Crescent Moon Island looks super suspicious, so we're gonna go down there. If nothing else, maybe we'll find, like, a town with new time magic. 
Because, yeah, we do have the level 2 time magic, like, skill right now, but we don't have any level 2 time magic spells. We'll have to find them and buy them. No, actually, Monk's gonna be good against these guys, because, yeah, we get two chances to hit every time. Yeah, that's the gimmick with these things, is they, uh, super high evade, but basically no HP, or, yeah, no HP. So you can one-shot them, if you can hit them, so getting two shots at them each time is actually gonna be really good. Actually, what's over here? Maybe we can go up here. Oh, there's a mountain range in the way, never mind. Or you know what I haven't done in a while is save my game. Let's do that. Yeah, apparently it's been a whole five minutes since I saved. Wouldn't want to have to redo the whole perilous trek over here. Actually, I say that, but Ferris is apparently about to die. It's probably supposed to be pronounced Faris. I don't know, I'm inconsistent about my uh, like proper pronunciation of Japanese names. It's not really a Japanese name, but you know, it's like the Japanese, like the conventions of pronoun- Son of a bitch. I don't even care, you just fucking lie there then if you're gonna be useless like that. Honestly, if we just let people lie down every once in a while, the experience and AP levels will eventually even out. Because, yeah, Len Lena's falling behind right now. Or at least she should be. Or she was ahead in the first place, because I had her in Time Mage more than the other characters. Oh, this isn't a boss fight, is it? I was hoping to go to the end. Oh, are we going to be stuck here? Oh, I don't want to go see the ship. I want to go to the inn. Okay, fine. Well, why did you park it all the way down there? Okay, so we're stuck here. This is actually very reassuring because it means we're on the proper pathway to progress the plot. Okay. The team seems cool with it, at least. It's like, ah, eh, ship's gone, stranded here, say la vie. the item man there. We're gonna hold off on the item man for now. We're gonna get some equipment and then we'll, we're probably just gonna spend all the money we have left on items. I want 99 of everything. Okay, so we've already got plumed everything. Oh, we can apparently get barred stuff. I don't know if that's worth it. Let's have a look. Oh, nice. Oh, 
Or I don't want to Optimum, because that'll equip his uh, weapon that we don't want. So that's just... I haven't sold my old equipment yet, so we actually even have more money than I realized. Oh, was I equipping the wrong thing? Was that the reason why it did so little damage? Whatever, we're never gonna... Or, okay, actually, we might get Ninja later on, so maybe we'll be able to use Shuriken. But, yeah, this Mithril garbage we can throw out. Training garbage we can throw out. Silk we don't need anymore. Elf Cape, I think, gives you Evade or something. Oh, wait, what's our... I maybe shouldn't have done that. What is our current monk? Okay, so our current monk equipment is the silver whatever it is. So we want to keep those for when we... Or we don't need four of them, though, so we'll sell one. Okay, so then now we can go three monk if we want to. This leather stuff is useless. The shoes, useless. Huh. Okay. Actually, we could potentially roll Thief as our fourth class, so we'll save that for now. And which is stronger, Full Moon or Flare? Or I guess it optimums the Flail to us, actually, so... Oh, we can't even use Full Moon. Yeah, so we might as well ditch that. 550 versus 390. I'm gonna ditch the flail too, actually. We wanna be barehanding everything anyways. And yeah, there's basically no new armor in this town, so... Or there could be a new staff or weapon, I guess. No, there isn't. Yeah, that was Bard and Archer stuff right there. Which I think means that we're getting our Earth Crystal coming up real soon. Okay, let's just get this shit done. There, we're set. Ooh, Maiden Kisses are a bit more expensive. Maybe we'll go, maybe we'll go easy on the Maiden Kisses just a little bit. Ooh, soft is expensive, too. I actually need some Fenix down, so we'll keep that. We've actually got cabins now, so I don't... Or actually, tents are pretty cheap, though, so we can get a couple of those. Okay, that's all good. Now, what do we actually do here? We don't actually have any, like, hints or anything to go on. Except that we're stranded here, so there must be something to do. Oh, hey! I should have gone to the magic shop before I bought all those potions that we don't need yet. Oh, okay. It's all black magic anyways. Good. Well, this is the only other house in town, so I guess whatever we gotta do... be fine with ro rolling bard again this time. We've got enough other good jobs in the party that I'd be... I mean, bard's a good job. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> oh, shit, he's yeah, tearing, it up, tearing it out there now. But yeah, that wasn't anything to progress the story. Man, I wish I had a run button. I think the thief gives you the run button in this game. It has, I think the thief class gives you a skill that'll let you move fast on the overworld. 
And then, yeah, that's just innate in the Game Boy Advance version. Okay, I guess I better talk to these jokers then. Maybe go outside. I don't know what they want from me here. <laughs> Did he just laugh at my boat getting swallowed up? Oh, you know what? Okay, it's the forest right here. The map even shows that there's a thing here, but it's very conspicuous. Okay, we're trading in our boat for a chocobo. Yeah, this is the point where we get the the other fire jobs. I think it's Archer and something else. Oh, it's Bard. Yeah, Archer. Archer Bard. Oh, I thought Bard was an Earth job. Or maybe I'm thinking of Dancer. Just random voice samples in 16-bit games might be my favorite thing in video games. Like out, of all, out of all the things I enjoy from video games from this era, I think just random voice samples out of nowhere is like the, the, the one thing that keeps me coming back to these games. Um, okay, so let's size this up. Where's the place I can get to that I couldn't get to before with this? Oh, we can do mountains now. Mostly, sort of. I think I know where, where to go with that. Before that, I'd like to find a town that sells uh, time magic. Preferably the good kind. The level 2 kind that we can use with our new... Level 2 time magic. I should have... Let's use the fucking map to see where we can go. So over there is just the mountain. I think there was a town over here. That I passed. Oh, this is just just my old boat? What the hell is that? Oh, he's got to go in the forest. That's the, lim the limitation of this guy. Oh yeah, this is just garbage. For some reason, I'm having big problems with the portions on this map. Like, I'm seeing the dots and I'm over sh either overshooting them or not going far enough. Or... Yeah, there's supposed to be two things right here. Oh, there's a town over here that I couldn't get to before. Perfect. Okay, this has got to get... Gotta get some good shit from here, right? Oh man, speaking of the RPG Maker's Days, I remember this being an extremely common piece of music that people like like to use. Because yeah, in the old school, in the old timey RPG Maker days, like nobody made their own like graphics and like art art resources in their RPG Maker games. You always steal them either from other video games or from like the default tile sets that are out there. And especially the music. People would, yeah, use uh, 
MIDI renditions of all sorts of music from all the different popular RPGs from back then. And I remember this being like one of the really popular town themes that you would hear in a lot of different RPGs, because FF5 was still reasonably obscure back then. There was no official version that you could play of FF5 in English back in those days. Oh, this was apparently my house at some point. But yeah, back in those days, this, the only pl way to play FF5 uh, was still via emulation. I think the English patch did exist at that point, though. I don't know which sexist video game trope this falls under, but I, I find it a bit odd that, uh, that what I don't even know what to call him, whatever, that the main character's dad has, like, his own unique sprite. He's, he's got, like, a literally, he's got a tiny little one-pixel must mustache there, too. But anyway, so yeah, his dad's got his own unique sprite, but the mom is just a generic townsperson, looks the same as any other woman. Oh, is she going to die right away? Is that why she wasn't worth her own sprite? Stella! Oh, and then that's it. We didn't get anything from that other than, yeah, backstory. Okay, this guy looks like a bard. Okay, yeah, I figured he would teach us a song. Just in case, you never know what we'll get as our fourth job. Man, I'm pretty eager for that fourth job now, because the fourth job is actually going to be two jobs, since that's when we'll unlock Chemist, too. Is he actually making it cheaper for us? Oh, he is, too. This stuff is, like, half price as the stuff in the other town. We just wasted our money. Okay, maybe it's not quite half price, but still, it's pretty cheap compared to the other town. I think I have a green beret already. Okay, I'm, I'm actually glad that I can't wear any of this stuff. Oh, you know what? I do need this, though. Yeah, it is monk equipment. Uh, ideally, I'd like three of them. Because for bosses, we're gonna want three monks. Okay, how many? I guess we can sell some of the other garbage that we bought. Actually, okay, so these silver things... Oof. So we can sell three of those. Then sell. Oh yeah, we got more plumed hats than we need too, so that'll get us enough to afford another stealth. Oh, and now I sold the other monk equipment that we have, so now we can't have more than two monks at a time. And yeah, that other one's just gonna sit loose in the inventory until we need more monks in the party. That's actually fine. I'm fine going two monk, two monk, two time mage. I don't think it's a stipulation of the four-job fiesta that you need to have the same number of cla of characters, like to divide your class classes equally among the characters when you have only two jobs. Okay, so that's just a white mage spell. Oh, 
honestly, I don't even know what other time mage spells there are in this game. Like, we pretty much got the full set of your standard time mage spells in a Final Fantasy game. Or I guess just better versions of them. Like, there's Demi 2 or whatever they call it in this game. Where are we gonna go? Ooh, what is this? Oh yeah, we can't land unless it's in a forest. Yeah, we should probably just go to progress the plot. We've been to that? Oh yeah, that's the meteor that- Oh, I remember how we got away from the dragon now. Yeah, we teleported via a meteor, so this is where we came from. All the way to Fire Town. Oh yeah, that little shrine doesn't actually show up as a dot on the map, but I can tell where it is just by the shape of the mountains. Oh, we can't actually land here anyways. That's not the way to go. I thought I remembered there being a forest around that place, but I guess not. Ooh, can't get through here. Oh, maybe we can. Oh, I bet you that's where we're supposed to get go next, and I bet you there's a forest a long ways away from here. Actually, no, that's the pyramid. I don't think we go there until way later in the game. Okay, what's the, I guess this this last dot down here is the one other thing we can check. It's not looking good. Nope. Maybe this is the way we're supposed to go. Oh, this is just back where we came from. Maybe that's just the way to go anyways? Okay, I guess we'll do it. Okay, are we set up correctly? I think we are. Wait, do I have my... Yeah, I probably don't want my green beret on my dude with the best defense. Oh, they can't wear green berets anyways. cooled off a fair bit uh, tonight. It was raining pretty heavily earlier in the day, but then it got super hot again, and now it's somewhat cooled off again. Yeah, I'm talking about the weather on stream. I know you guys, I, I know you guys are interested. Well, the enemies aren't getting any harder in this direction, so I guess maybe this is the way to go? And the counter finish. Was that... What was that? What she just learned there? Oh, that was just a new level of Demen. I don't think she's actually learned... ...any new spells, though. Yeah, we haven't found the town. Or I guess we're leveling up Time Mage a lot faster than they expect you to. Because, yeah, in a standard playthrough of the game, like, you're all this time we're spending level up Time Mages, in a, in a regular playthrough, uh, you're going to be dividing all of that time between a bunch of different jobs. So, we can actually maybe lay off of Time Mage for a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to have Lena switch over to Monk. And actually, here's what we're going to do. Yeah, we're going to swap her out... Uh, yeah, we'll go... 
We'll go Mantra. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to get uh, Baku into Time Mage, just to give him something to do. Like, everyone's going to be maxed out on just about every job that we have by the end of the game, so we might as well just get started. Also, yeah, we get to see what his, uh, what his Time Mage sprite looks like. I don't know what... Okay. Okay. Sand Bear. Is that a thing? Are the, are the deserts of the world filled with sand bears? I'm trying to think now. Is there such thing as, like, a bear that lives in the desert? I don't think so. I think they usually live in forests and or jungles. take him out otherwise. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't think we're supposed to... Unless I'm missing something, I don't think we're supposed to be able to get through here yet. Okay, so that was a bust. I think we're good on, yeah, job levels and experience and everything. I think we're just gonna flee from every fight. All of the easy fights from now on. Normally I would start doing that sooner, but the easy fights are so easy with a party full of monks. Actually, I think it was the same way when I had my party full of uh, knights on the last fiesta too. Although I obvious obviously it wasn't full of knights for nearly as long as it has been in this run. Where the hell am I supposed to go? I mean, I, I, I guess I haven't... I don't think I've been to this top left corner yet. I'm gonna explore every single dot on this freaking map. And it's gonna turn out that the place I was supposed to go will be the last one that I check. Okay, this looks promising. I don't think I've seen this area before. Big forest, that's good. Little town, that's good. Although I, I am short of money right now, so maybe I should do a bunch of battles. Okay, that's fine. Well, we'll definitely come back here later, because those are... Some essential rings for the end game. Yeah, basically the end game is like all of the a lot of the final bosses and the optional super bosses are all about the elemental absorption. Just get the right rings equipped on your party and you're basically set. Okay, so this is a new town, but I don't think there's going to be anything to do here, either. We got time magic here. I almost hope that we don't, because I won't be able to afford it. Uh, this is all stuff that we have already. So, yeah, I am fine with that. Fuck you, I do what I want. Cool. If we if we roll bard, we're gonna be just totally set.
Am I just stuck in the woods now with all these other people who got kicked by sheep? Okay, so that was a town. What I really want is like a shrine with an earth crystal in it. Have we seen one of those? Okay, I guess we'll I guess we'll just sweep right. So we pretty much explored this whole continent. Man, I don't know what it is. I just don't remember anything at all about this part of the game. I, I, I know the game reasonably well up to Byblos. As in, like, I know where to go and vaguely what to do. I guess because the game is pretty much, like, strictly linear up to that point. Yeah, I don't remember any of this at all. I think this is where we started the game. Yeah. Maybe, maybe that's what we're supposed to do? Maybe go back to the meteor we started at? I've, I've seen more ludicrous shit in JRPGs before. This is getting a little bit tedious, though, so we're gonna speed this shit up a little bit. Because, yeah, we know the other meteor opens up. Huh. Someday, I'm pretty sure we're gonna open up that meteor. Well, at least we got through all that without any battles. Okay, so I guess we'll sweep up and then back to Crescent Island. We haven't been here before. Is this Earth Castle? Actually, this is probably uh, Lena's hometown. Yeah, you're a pretty cool guy yourself there, guard man. I don't really care about what any of these people has to say. So I was kind of right. We did need to return to the place where we started, roughly. I don't understand the point of that scene. Yeah, this isn't FF6. No elixirs in the clocks. Man, they need to do some kind of charity event for FF6 to give me an excuse to play that game again. So is there even anything plot-related to do here? We just come back and say, hey, 
we're going. And then we go? Maybe this wasn't the place to go after all. From who? The king? He's dead. Let me in. I'm the king now. I mean, yeah, if, if, the, if the king isn't around, isn't Lena the... Uh, what's, what's the word? The next in the chain of command? Holy shit. Yeah, there is just nothing to do here. It's just, yeah, optional story scenes, I guess. Disappointed. We could go check out that uh, underground passageway in the water castle again. See if we can stand up to the enemies in there yet. Is there even anywhere to go up there? Let's just check it out. Ooh, this looks special and secretive. Is this gonna be another bullshit passageway that just kills me? Ooh, there's treasure! Beautiful. I'm ready to become a ninja. And or a sheep herder. Yeah, I think that's a Beastmaster weapon we just picked up. Yep. I'm thinking ahead to this chemist thing again. I don't even know what to expect. I don't even know what chemists equip. Like, do I need weapons if I'm gonna be a chemist? Or I guess I don't need weapons no matter what class I'm gonna be, because I, I can always just put on the monk's brawl, brawl ability for my offense. I think this is just like the cave we started in. Yeah. Yeah, let's just take a little trip down memory lane while we try to figure out where the hell to go. So those up there we explored already. That was Water Town and Water Castle. This is our dragon buddy we left behind. He's basically obsolete now. I guess we can try Crescent Moon Town again, maybe? This is just silly. This is not that big of a world map, and there's only so many dots. I mean, it's gotta be over here, then. Unless there's something just really obvious and stupid that I missed in one of the other towns. to get the dragon back now? I 
Yeah, maybe I can get, get the dragon to land in that shrine. Because yeah, the chocobo needs forest to land. Which means that he can't land on that shrine in the middle of the ocean, but... The dragon could maybe do it. Although in that case, what was keeping us from doing this before? Or I guess maybe it only appeared after that earthquake. Oh yeah, this guy can't even go over the mountains. Oh yeah, he's yeah completely encircled by the mountains. We can't get down there. Got better theme music, though. I'll say that. Well, I'm stuck. If anyone in chat knows what to do next, feel free to shout it out. Ooh, a battle. Actual gameplay. We haven't seen that in a long, good long time. I don't know, maybe I'm just supposed to talk to some random NPC in some town? Like, yeah, there's no more dots on the map to explore. There's one point of interest, which is the shrine in the middle of the ocean, but we can't actually land there because there's no forest. Okay, let's just follow this chain of islands then. Maybe there's something here. Actually, I think I remember that there is something here. Maybe it doesn't appear until later in the game. I don't think it's related to advancing the plot, but there's a hidden town on one of these islands, if I remember correctly. I think it might have been this one. Huh, never seen that before. I should probably run away from this one, because we might wipe if they all explode. Yeah, I don't think it appears until later in the game, once the Void starts running amok. Maybe this is it? Oh, this is probably it. I don't remember if we've been here before or not, but I guess we'll, guess we'll find out in a minute. Oh yeah, this is brand new. 
Okay, we're gonna check out the town first. Just in case there's something awesome there, like new time magic or something. Yeah, we can let these guys out in one round. Or less. Let's check. Jeez, the encounter rate on, in this area just crazy. These guys look a little bit scary. Never mind. Okay, me and my big stupid mouth. But that, I'm guessing that was a counterattack, maybe. Because, yeah, that's really freaking weird that he did that. Twice in a row. And wiped the whole party. Like, you don't... Just from a game balance perspective, you don't really expect that. So I'm thinking maybe that was a counterattack to Monk. Because the first one got killed in one hit. Maybe we want one of our guys with build up, maybe. Or yeah, I guess that would be our one monk. For situations like that where you want to one-shot a dude to avoid a counterattack. Man, I sure wish. Bart's would run, like, all over the overworld, the same way he runs to bed like that. Okay, I'm done buying items. I'm not even gonna look at the item shop right now. I can't spin around like that. Not enough space around me on the chair. I got a table over here. I got a thing over here, a table in front of me. I cannot spin with you. Really, it sounded, like, it sounded to me like you botched the ending a little bit there. Okay, so this cave sounds promising. I mean, this is just the item shop that I yeah said I totally wasn't even going to look at. Man, I've seen like five or six different towns now. And yeah, I have not actually done anything plot-wise to earn the money to spend in any of them. Okay, thankfully, yeah, we can't productively use any of those weapons, so... No excuse to go grinding or anything. Oh, me and my, me and my big stupid mouth again. Okay, cool. It's just white magic. Seriously? I thought that looked like a secret thing. Okay, yeah, it looks like the it looks like the town is just a town. We got to go to the cave. Oh, you know what? I should go up there. Yeah, I didn't even notice this little doorway here. Make sure there's some good stuff in here. 
Yeah, good stuff. How, how dare they put those crates and barrels up there? Just tantalizingly out of your reach. And then not putting in any not put anything in them. Uh, so if I see those bio soldiers again, I'm just gonna run because I don't wanna get bioed again. Yeah, you guys can fuck off. Oof. Yeah, I've got a million potions now. Let's just heal. These guys I can handle. Oh, maybe not. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it takes two shots to kill them. said something about wait for the switches or something. Or no, it was something about a line of switches. Ooh, we're stuck. Oh no, it's the nut eaters. They're gonna eat my nuts. Yeah, they can eat my nuts. There, nuts eaten. Might as well just call them fucking tea bag squirrels or something. Okay, so that's the one. And then we're gonna get a battle so that I forget which one it is. <laughs> Yeah, I think there was some kind of gimmick in this gimmick fight in this dungeon where you get like a like a gray nut eater. I think it was this one. Apparently I was wrong. Either that or maybe it's just random and you gotta hit it once the others disappear. Yeah, I think there's like some kind of turbocharged crazy squirrel that'll fuck your shit up that you can encounter randomly in here. If I'm remembering right. And I often don't. So these guys are basically just free XP. Have we even seen what these things do yet? And yeah, two, two ability points. That's solid. I mean, for the amount of effort we put into it. forward through this shit. I think, I think you guys know how this fight plays out by now. Oh, what did we get there? I didn't even notice what items they drop. Oh, here he is. Here he is! Yeah, that was a dick move there. Yeah, Skull Eater can eat my fucking nuts. Again, kind of a game design thing. Why the hell did they feel the need to throw that random shit in there? Oh god. I don't... 
I actually don't know if he has any down any like how defensive he is. Oh for fuck's sake. Okay, and that, I guess that's the joke of this area. What you got one enemy that can't even damage you and the other one just fucking murders you. But yeah, I don't know if the skull eaters are like actual overpowered enemies or if it just has like overpowered offense. And if it's actually possible to kill them. Well, we can run pretty effectively from them, so I don't think I'm keen to stick around and find out. You know what? We'll, we'll leave back Zoo out of this one. Actually, no, we, we shouldn't, because he's behind in time mage levels than have compared to everyone else. I, I shouldn't even bother potioning these guys, because they're all just going to get one shot anyways. Because I'm all about saving them potions, which are super valuable. Oh, fuck you, Skull Eater. I mean, I'm not even going to bother... Yes, I am. Who are we kidding? That's... Oh, I was gonna say, that's it, huh? But... That's it, huh? <laughs> okay, that kind of sucks. I think the whole point of this, though, is to give you an opportunity to tent and get back your wounded guys. Uh, did the townspeople say something about what we're supposed to do here? Like, yeah, there's nothing else to do or see on the world map. Surely there's something in this frickin' cave that advances the plot. Can we jump down here? Oh, that's not down there, that's a pillar. weird. Why did it say it's empty? Or was it empty the first time and I just didn't notice? I thought we got something out of it the first time, but... Oh, that's good. I think I'm gonna go to a walkthrough after this because this is getting freaking ridiculous. Freaking ridiculous. Oh, even in here. Oh, that's lucky. How often does he do that? Which is gonna do the thing, or?
Okay, so the Cave of Jericho was a bust. Um, okay, I'm gonna go back to town. I'm gonna talk to some people in the bar to see if I missed anything. Some sort of clue to get past that dead end, and if not, I'm going to a walkthrough. money out of all that. Okay, what did they all have to say? Yep. Yep. Way ahead of you. Okay, so yeah, I did that. I did that, and it didn't help anything. Okay, so you guys are all useless. I'm going to game facts. a walkthrough that's not plain text. And I remember thinking, yeah, Games Fa Game Facts was just the shiznit back in the day, but they, they got like the old types of guides, which are just, you know, plain text, like a just basic TXT file. But then they got the newer guides for some games, where it's like full HTML and you've got like hyperlinks and shit. And it's just, I, I go through those ones and it's hard, it's hard to go back. Okay, so Jacol Crescent Eye from Lix to History. So, okay, this seems like a promising guide. This one has, uh, like, headings for the different segments of the game. Oh, apparently we missed, uh, Rama. Oh, for fuck's sake. I had to go back to the library and talk to Sid and Mid for some reason. That's probably my fault. They probably told me, like, meet up at the library or some shit, and I just wasn't paying attention. Oh well, we got to explore the whole world, at least, so we know what's out there. Which is mostly just fucking nothing. At least right now. They kind of mix things up with the world map in this game over the course of the plot. Particularly like, particularly like right at the very end, shit just gets wrecked. Okay, I don't like these counter-attacks, because they're probably gonna provoke these guys to explode on me. Yeah, I'm just gonna continue running from these guys. Ah, 
Man, any enemy that has any sort of counterattack is just terrible if you're a monk. Or just, I guess, attacking unarmed in general. Because obviously very few of us are monks, but we're all using the monk's brawl ability. speed up the battles if I switched it to wait. Or sorry, it's to, to active mode. Tradition it, it shouldn't if it works the same way as most Final Fantasies, because it basically just make basically an act or actually, yeah, if you, most Final Fantasy games, if you switch it to active, uh, the ATB bars will continue filling up and stuff will still continue happening during combat while you're in the menus choosing your spells and stuff. Uh, the other way that it, the stupid way that it might do it in some of these older Final Fantasy games is to actually have the bars continue to fill up during attack animations, which is stupid and really, like, not at all advantageous to the player. But for these really easy fights, it actually might help to speed things up a fair bit. Damn it, where is this library again? Oh yeah, I think it's just straight to the west. Yeah, you just had to go to the library. As much as I was saying how I don't like it when it pauses the text scrolling and prevents you from flipping through text boxes, it really is helpful when they like pause the pause the text scroll right on the thing that tells you where you're supposed to go next. Maybe it's been doing that this whole time and I just haven't even haven't even been paying attention, even though they've been going out game's been going out of its way to tell me, perhaps, and I just haven't noticed. Because yeah, that was really convenient there, how it's like the king of Karnak was over in the quicksand desert. Go there. And it just like pauses on that text box for a good few seconds just to make sure that you don't flip through it. In fact, it was probably in the last story conversation I had with NPCs, they probably told me, like, go meet us at the library. And I was probably talking about how much I hate uh, the text scroll stopping while that message was frozen on screen, telling me where to go next. So now, so now that they've told us that we can go to the desert, they'll just, yeah, be magically some way to proceed through the desert. I'm actually going to kill all these enemies just because I'm sh super short on money right now. I don't know how tough Sandworm is going to be with monks. Like, he's not- I guess it's not going to change a diff anything at all because he's not going to, like, switch holes mid-attack or anything. Okay, let's give this a shot. Uh, do I care enough to switch to f a full monk party? I think I do. We're actually going to make Bakzu our time mage, uh, just because uh, he's the one who's got the, mo the fewest levels in it so far. Now, the question is, what do we want as a backup? I think we'll go Mantra. Thank you. 
Okay, and then he's gonna take Mantra as well, because I don't... He's probably gonna spend all of his time doing buffs, so... Don't really need him punching stuff, and for that reason, he can stay in the back. Let's do it. Apparently the way you, you disturb a sandworm is just by waving at it. Even it, so, yeah, this is, of course, the infamous sandworm fight. Or at least infamous if you have a... Berserker in your party. Even without a Berserker, it's a pain in the ass. Just because he can switch, like you can, yeah, input your attack against him and sometimes he'll switch holes before the animation comes out. Uh, I'm gonna go with haste on the party here. Oh yeah, I switched it to active, didn't I? Okay, let's go for it. Yep, see, that's what happens. That's what fucking happens. That's not even the hole I targeted. So I basically just want to hit him basically, essentially right after he switches holes. Oh, you know what? Again, I forgot to heal up after my uh, job change. And yeah, it was also a really, really bad idea to switch to active. The whole idea behind switching to active was to get through the random encounters a little bit more easily. It's really not a good idea for boss fights, though. Yeah, basically all the time I'm wasting in the menus uh, is essentially time wasted. Like, bars are filling up and I'm wait. It's actually wasting time the longer I dally in the menus. With haste, though, I don't think this is going to be a tough fight. Because, yeah, we can with, with haste up, we can outpace his uh, damage and just heal up. Heal until we're strong, then start attacking him, then heal up again. Huh. I think Mantra might be based on your MP because... Or, uh, your magic power, because, uh... What, what do they call it? Or I guess your magic attack stat, since back zoo seems to be doing it a bit more effectively than the others. Again, I think we go up to 300 before we start cracking his skull again. Like, yeah, Galuf can punch him in a second. Really not doing that much damage to him, though. I'm gonna have Ferris uh, go for a hit as well. Okay, no, I'm not. If I did kick on him, would he counter attack three times? Probably. Wow, 
Oh, he's doing a lot of them quicksands now. Okay, I wonder if there's any good... Because, yeah, Bakzu is fine on HP. I wonder if there's anything else productive he could cast. Oops. I wonder if slow would work on this guy. Assuming he doesn't switch holes before I do it. Forgot about that. Yeah, I'm just going to assume that's not going to work. He seems to be speeding up or something. Yeah, I'm getting off, like, way fewer actions compared to his attacks now. Son of a bitch. Is Demi gonna work on this guy, too? No. Of course not. Fuck's sake. I want him to switch holes, like, right before I attack. It seems like he doesn't want to do it. Yeah, even without Berserkers, just what a boring fight this is. Is there anything good we can do? Or let's get a regen going. Why didn't I think of that? Time to go for the offensive. Okay, well, I'll do one more mantra. Two more mantras. Yeah. Problem is, is yeah, between we're we're outpacing him with the mantra healing, combined with our hastes, but just barely. It's like we're very rarely getting actual opportunities to attack him. Hopefully, the regen will offset that once we get that up on everyone. The regen looks pretty weak in this game, though. Like it is not rocking very often at all. Oh, did I do it on him already? Whatever, Ferris is the last one who needs regen. Man, I can already notice the regen actually making a big difference here, so maybe I shouldn't have been talking shit about it. Oh, you know what? I probably could have afforded uh, an attack there. Ooh, and that might be back, back zoo down for the count. Let's see if he can dig himself out before that. HP leak ticks down. Yep. Oh, holy shit! Okay, oh. He somehow didn't die there. Oh, you know what? It was uh, the regen. The regen, the numbers appeared, but didn't... Fuck. Whatever, I guess he's just gonna miss out on the AP for this fight, assuming we even win, which is not really a given anymore. See, that's the kind of thing we want to see.
Okay, I thought that might have been a mistake. M almost got away from us there. Yeah, I should have been going for the regen much, much sooner. There we go, that's what we like to see. Is that the first crit I've landed this fight? Ah, oh, that was bad. Should not have done that. Oh, I think that might be Galuf dead. Oh yeah, he does the double demi too because of the... Uh... Yeah, because of the monk double hit. One. Yeah, sometimes he just gets like two quicksands in a row, and I don't know what why it is that he gets that sometimes. There we go. What an annoying boss fight. And of course, the one guy who I want to get the AP the most misses out on it. Right, I guess we should tent first before we go saving. Is this actually a full dungeon here? I thought we just like got a free pass to the end after we beat Sandworm. <laughs> oh yeah, I can probably adjust my party setup now. Although actually with sand bears in the desert here, we might actually want to keep it on Triple Monk just for the chance for extra counter attacks. Actually, yeah, that's kind of fine. Yeah, I think I'm fine with this party setup. See? Like so. Wow, I got nothing out of that. Okay, we're running from sand bears from now on. Wow, that's, yeah, zero. I, I guess I must be overleveled for this point in the game then. Because, yeah, I feel... Although, it, these sand bears aren't that easy. I feel like I should be getting some experience or some AP out of these fights. But the game thinks otherwise. Um, so... I, I find it hard to tell which direction these sand things are going in. Oh, that was... Pretty easy. <laughs> Is this where we wanted to go? I thought we wanted to go to the pyramid in the center. Maybe this is the wrong way. Ooh, is this knife gonna be enough to be able to kill him with this last hit? Yep. Man, do bombs even explode in this game? Okay, yeah, looks like this was the right direction. Oh, this is, yeah, becoming vaguely familiar. I think we might get our Earth Crystal job right away. I am not quite sure. Or maybe we'll come back here later to get it.
I just vaguely remember the earth crystal shards being kind of scattered on the ground in an area that kind of looks like this. Yeah, I think that's what happens as we go to the pyramid in the center of the desert and then maybe we come back here. After playing tag with King Tycoon. We're done with this now? Nope. I was just up there. Haha. <laughs> oh shit, I forgot all about this nonsense here. Not the time, guys. <laughs> so are we going to get a three-person party? With, uh, yeah, Bart's, Ferris, and Lena, or the one-person party with Galif? Or is he just going to find his way back? Oh, cool. Okay, and I think we are going to get the Earth Crystal jobs after we clear out this dungeon. Uh, yeah, since there's no benefit to leveling up Time Mage, other than the, yeah, being able to unlock the new spells that we can't purchase yet. Uh, yeah, let's just keep the party the way we've got it. I was actually planning to go to bed right away, but eh, we'll, we'll, we'll push to the end of this dungeon. And yeah, not, none of this, or I, yeah, none of this is really ringing a bell as far as, like, game progression or anything. I have no idea what the boss is of this dungeon or how long a dungeon it is. Oh, are we fighting a boss right now? No, we're just getting lightning bolted. Okay, barely survived that. Or did we? <laughs> At least Boko's all right, and then he can continue the adventure. Okay, we're fine. I'm right for stealing my ride. Ooh, what's back here? Save point? Ooh, even better. Okay, what other goodies we got here? Oh, is this just books? It's not even books. Ooh, but there's treasure down there. 
Oh yeah, there's like secret passages to treasures sometimes too. You can see the secret passages if you're a thief. But we're not, so... Come on. Look at the flowers in the center room. Last note in this sequence says, like, made you look, or something to that effect. I'm putting my fist right through this. POW! Where was the pot? Oh, there's the pot. Still, they, they got me good with that one. I don't see anything in the pot. There must be a third pot out there somewhere. Ooh, a third and fourth pot, even. Okay, this is turning into some Rube Goldberg shit right now. Okay, cool. We just we just needed some exercise. That's how that's the way you push the switch, yeah. This game has a really goofy sense of humor. I don't know if I'm a fan, but it is what it is. Is that a save point because we're in for like a really long dungeon ahead or is it just like no dungeon and it's just going to be a boss fight? Oh, we don't even get earth, the earth crystal stuff right away. I think this is just the airship that's going to let us... Uh, go to that temple on the island. crystals inside this ship. That'd just be too ironic, right? To have the earth crystal powering the airship. Music doesn't seem appropriate anymore, does it? It would be a lot more awesome with like some of that classic Final Fantasy, it's like we were flying through the sky music. Oh, do we got a boss fight? This could be cool. Oh, it's just this guy again. Don't counter, don't counter. Okay, we're good. Uh, let's- oh, we're still- <laughs> We're still on fucking, uh, active. Whoops, wrong one. It's really difficult to tell, like, who's gonna get the turn sometimes when you've got, like, multiple characters with their bars filled up. I think it's gonna be Lena next. So 
So I still don't know how much damage this guy does with his normal attacks. Okay, about 106. But we'll say about 200. So we want to we want to keep everyone above 200. And uh, yeah, basically they'll mantra until they're above 200. Otherwise, attack. See, we we got our gambits set up for this boss fight already. Okay, yeah, 200, 200 was the right number there. Okay, Ferris is just never gonna stand up again. This Cray Claw just, I don't know. Got a thing for her, just wants to give her that tail screw over and over again. Whoops, that was wrong. Yeah, I think Time Mage Monk, whoops, is a pretty good combo. I don't know, just hasted monks. Just feels right. Whoops. Okay, so he's probably fucked. Never mind. We're fine. Man, you, you upgrade your vehicles in this game at a very rapid pace. It's like, what, we started with the boat, kept that for a little while, lost the dragon, got a new dragon, ditched the dragon, got a chocobo, now we got it, an airship. We've gone through like four different vehicles in, in four hours. Yeah, most of the later Final Fantasies, you'll get, like, one vehicle. Something like 24 hours into the game or something. So yeah, I think there's pretty much only one place on the whole world map that this airship unlocks for us, so I guess we're gonna go there. Oh, did I pass it already? Yeah, whoa, this airship is way faster than anything else we've had so far. Yeah, this is the place. Oh, really? Even the airship? Okay, I don't know where to go then. Um, I guess we'll figure it out next time. I wasn't supposed to meet it. I wasn't supposed to meet them in the library again, right? That would just be embarrassing at this point. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? Because I, I saw in the guide that I forgot this. We're gonna go fight Rama. Just because. I don't know if we're going to get Summoner or not in the end. But just because he's there, we're going to go fight him.
Yeah, this whole level halved bullshit. I don't know about that. Like, I might as well just say, like, fucking kill him. Because they're gonna be useless for the rest of the fight. Demi, if we can, on this guy. I'm gonna chop that one up to Fluke and just hope that it'll work next time. Because otherwise, I don't know how long it's gonna take to blink away at this guy. 30 damage at a time. Oh right, he got level halved, so that's why he's sucking it up so much. Okay. Once is a fluke, maybe. Twice. I think we're gonna need a different strategy. I've really gotta switch back from, uh... Oh, hey, it looks like that actually worked. Possible to tell how long it lasts though back in the yeah back in the old days here when the enemies aren't animated or anything. So is this level half thing ever gonna wear off? Cause yeah, this kind of sucks. This is almost definitely a waste. Of, yeah, they probably expect you to use some kind of black magic or any kind of magic to kill this guy. I'm just fighting them to prove that I can do it. Assuming I can actually do it. Wouldn't it be great if that 1 HP would just finish him off? Get him! Oh. Or even that 16 HP from the dagger. Or just any amount in, or just any amount of damage at all. Please fucking die already, thank you. Uh, so that took a bit more out of us than I thought. We're gonna go to the inn. And then we're gonna fight Rama. How close are my guys to leveling up anyways? I mean the important kind of level up, the the job levels. Or I guess no one's really close because I kind of switched them around a bunch. Because yeah, Bakzu was working up on Monk there, and he's over on Time Mage now. And the others were on Time Mage and they're working on Monk now, so... I think he's supposed to be in the woods here. Come on, give me a break. a good start. Probably should have mantra there. Also, I still haven't uh, turned off fucking active. This is actually fine. Everyone can mantra to clear the blind.
Oh wow, he just take Is he still level halved or something? Why did he take so much more damage that time? Okay, that was a close one. Wow, we're just like rolling with the crits today. Oh, yeah, I guess that's fine. Probably could have done a regen on Gallif instead, would have been better, but he might not be long for this world anyways. That sucks. I think maybe we can finish him off here with all the crits we've been doing. He's casting Bolt 2 every time, so we might be in desperation mode or something. This isn't looking good. Keep going. Keep up the offense. That's what I like to see. Man, we're getting quad damage crits here. So whoever he bolts on next is probably going to die. Do we revive them or not? Never mind. 3 ABP. Worth it. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we got that under our belt at least. Hashtag Victory Rama. Yeah, sure, one more save for good measure. That is going to do it for me tonight. Uh, yeah, I am definitely not going to be streaming tomorrow because I got uh, going to see a movie uh, tomorrow uh, uh, tomorrow evening. Um, and I won't be streaming Tuesday either because I got work that evening. I might stream Wednesday, so yeah. Uh, maybe another 4Job Fiesta stream on Wednesday. And if not, then then probably Thursday. So, uh, yeah, y'all have that to look forward to. In the meantime, if you want to see the rest of uh, tonight's stream, if you came in late and missed it, you can see that over on YouTube. Along with all the other VODs from my past streams, you can follow me on Twitter to know when I'm going online and just whatever else I feel like tweeting about. And, yeah, that's all I've got for you. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.